big arms. Connector for that. Small little basket. And it looks like basket and a little fuel or winch, pu winch pulley. And then you have the front module, command module. So that can fit in there. If you just want it to be this little flying around guy. Or easily. Semi easily. This is a little tricky, but you'll get the hang of that. Right there. In. And now we've got the full crab pod. We have this little plate here. Now this is a little kind of prop and display. So I think you can use it to hold, like some of the arms can hold it. Like it's working on a panel or it goes here it's a little display Uh, first, just some of the loose parts that are going to need to be glued. Uh, this, especially, comes right off. Now, that's not, again, it's not a bad thing. It's just they are at just three kind of big points that make it a little difficult to just hold on on their own. But, with glue, after they're painted, will hold on fine. And you see, there's already some stuff that's popped off. These are the loose parts that will stay on when you know, tightened up. Put a little primer on here or let paint go over these little pegs just a little. They'll stay on. Take some glue. There, there. There. After. After you paint it, if you choose to paint, or if you're not going to paint, just put them on while you're building it like this. But it will stay on. And all these points that are coming off now are kind of made to do that. These are pretty big pins here. The joints definitely can be a lot tighter. The you know, one of the only flaws I could see in this is the, the pins just need to be a little bit bigger to fit a little bit more snugger at the, at the friction joints. Definitely. If I had to have them loose anywhere though, I would on this. From a painting standpoint, it's a lot easier to separate the parts for painting if the joints are a little loose because they will tighten up if you just let a little bit of primer or a little bit of base paint go on the pins before you assemble if they're loose.
All right, here's some of the loose parts. Um, this will fit nice and tight once it's pressed all the way up, but when you take it out, it's a little loose. That's the point of trying to get it really in there to make it stop and stay. So while you're posing these, they are gonna come apart, but honestly, once you got it in the pose you want, angle, it's gonna stay. This part will come off though. So you look at, watch this, so very lightly. Cause it's just being held in with this and that. Now, if you were to glue this, after you've painted it, it's gonna be flawless. There'll be little areas I'll go over where, um, where I suggest gluing. But. And the pegs aren't that snug or tight. So you're gonna have, like, especially down here, these are gonna, you're gonna come off, I mean, they're gonna come right off like that. And you're gonna have to reposition them and repose them. But that's just the kind of nature of these little small things. Uh, it, it, easy fix. The friction joints just need a little bit more gloss or work on them. But, and then this area there needs to be glued down. stuff like that so little loose areas like that but again this is not that big a deal because this is great for painting the fact that things are going to come off a little bit looser now not just like fall off on their own because what I'll do right here get it secure the part that was loose there was that joint When, they're, when it's in position, it's not gonna just fall apart and it's gonna feel like every time you grab something like and move this, it's like, oh, that just piece just falls right off. It's like, no, no, it will stay. It just needs a little bit of tenderness. But as you can see, shake it. They're not falling apart. Drop it. That took a little bit to get that little one going and that little one, but I mean, that's like... some really ingenious little pick points here. So that little hole goes into that little peg right there. And that little clip goes into that little clip there. Keeps it, keeps them from being too loose and wobbling all over the place. It's actually one of my favorite parts about this. Helps you line it up and lets you know where it wants like where it needs to line up, how, the, how it's designed to line up. You can line it up however you want, but it gives you that little help. And again, being very ginger, but I'm not, it's not ginger like it's gonna break. It's just there are loose parts. And with these, I'll take them apart first, fold it like that. So some honest feelings about this kit. Uh, the looseness of the joints are gonna be frustrating uh, for people that are new to these types of kits. Um, they're thinking they get frustrated, all the parts falling off, falling off, falling off. But really, if you're just careful with it before gluing, you're not gonna have that much issue and there's a lot of articulation there. I just, I can't overlook how loose 
certain parts are and they will fall off a lot and it will be frustrating but gluing and painting should tighten up all those things i think you should look past that into the design and the intricacies i mean there is a lot of undergating they're really the biggest i don't see any of the nub marks even though i sanded them but which is light sanding there's a couple is a pretty gnarly seam here but you blew that down no problem I think it's all up to what you're into and uh, this I'm into this design I think it's very cool I think it can have lots of different properties um, for kit bashing and just adding a, a crazy grabbing arm but just on its own painting. I can't wait to paint this. this. This should be a lot of fun. Probably do that real soon. Maybe I'll just snap build the other ones uh, and paint this one up. Yeah. Well. There it is. I like it a lot. I think it's a great kit. I'm not a... I don't have problem with loose things. I like to find solutions and fix problems. But they, they are loose. You can see the, the video I shot a little bit ago. There are loose points, but that shouldn't be a killer for you. It should just uh, work a little harder, work a little calmer, and uh, you end up with a really cool little robot crab. Like, I mean, it's just, I can't stop looking at it. It's so cool. It, it's cute and realistic. I, I don't know how else to describe it. But, So there's two others they sent me. They are just color changes, red, a few decal differences. Yeah, so there's your difference in the decals, little flames on this one. So red, red color. White and blue. Ah, looks like medical. Alright, big shout out to all my current and future Patreons. If you'd like to join and help me one day have the extra funds that I can purchase more kits, show you more things, try more stuff. You know, try 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 a technique that maybe you were worried about using because you didn't want to you know waste some money or something like that. But like I'll I'll waste a kit trying it. I will try. I will figure it out for you. All right. Thank you so much. Visit my website. Links are all in the about section. Um, visit me on Instagram. That's where gonna be most of the most of my stuff goes first. Um, take it easy. See you in the next one.